These are seven powerful new tools in Microsoft Planner, from new templates to Outlook integrations, as well as advanced project management tools. This video is going to show you important updates to supercharge your projects. So let's nerd out. A quick note before we get started is that I will be using the planner within Microsoft Teams as some of these features are not yet available for the browser version. Additionally, I have a basic version of Microsoft Planner, but I do have a 365 Copilot license and I will be highlighting licenses where possible throughout the tutorial. Number one is new templates for users with Planner Premium or a 365 Copilot license. So if we go new plan, then users with a Planner Premium license will see additional templates here, such as event planning or training plan or sprint retrospective. And then for users with a 365 Copilot license, you will see the plan with project manager. This is a new feature in public preview, and we will dive into that a little bit later in the tutorial. But some of the templates that come along with this feature are research report, competitive analysis, and SWOT analysis. The second feature is how we can now add or create plans directly within a Teams channel. So we can go up to the plus icon, locate planner, and then here we will now pin the planner app to this Teams channel. We have always been able to add an existing plan. So if you already have a plan within this team, then you can select it from the drop down here. But a new feature is that we can now create a new plan directly within this channel. And this includes basic planner plans. If you have planner premium, then you'll be able to select that here as well. And also that 365 Copilot project manager plan templates. So you can select a template to get started. And by having your plan pinned directly into your team's channel, you can eliminate the need to switch between apps and streamline collaboration. The third new feature is an ability to add a plan to your Outlook calendar. This was a feature that was previously available and then it went missing. So I'm pleased to say that it is back as I've had quite a few comments from people just like you asking me where it went. So in Planner, we go to My Plans, then we select the plan that we want to add to our calendar. From this drop down carrot, you go Add Plan to Outlook Calendar. Now, I wanted to note here that if you are a team member, then this will not be available to you right away, in which case the team owner will need to follow these steps and then the link can be available and shared with others. So if we select the link, then we want to go publish and share with anyone. Now, again, this is quite important because when you toggle this on, then anybody with this link can access the plan within Outlook Calendar. So you just want to be mindful about who and where you share this link with. Just going to click anywhere in here, go Control A and Control C, and then now we will go into Outlook. Within Outlook, we want to be on the calendar and then we can go add calendar. From here, we go subscribe from web and then we can just paste that URL in here. We can give it a name, so I will call this pet wash and then we can select a color. I'm quite happy with the default and we can go and select a charm as well. At the bottom here, if you have multiple accounts, then you can select the specified account below. Otherwise, we can import. Once your plan has been added, then you will be able to select it from one of the drop downs on the left hand side here. And then you can toggle between the different dates to view all of the tasks that have been assigned a date. To view more details of the task, we can click on the task, expand it, and then we can go open the task in Planner. So this is a great way for you to see all of the tasks assigned to other team members within a calendar view. And you can view this alongside your other calendars in split view, which Microsoft Teams just adopted the same calendar as Outlook. 
And if you are interested to learn more about different calendar features, then I will include a link in the description below. So that is how we can bring individual plans into Outlook. But what about tasks that are assigned to you across all of your plans? A quick pause in today's video to say that my ebook, Navigating Microsoft Passages, is available for free for you to download. Inside, you will find a treasure map to help you navigate Microsoft 365 apps with confidence so that you can increase your productivity and efficiency and reclaim your time for meaningful work. I will include a link at the end of this tutorial as well as in the description of this one. So be sure to check it out and grab your copy today. We go to my tasks assigned to me. You will see an ellipses on the top right and you can go add assigned to me to Outlook. This will be a similar experience to what we just saw, allowing you to view a task that have been assigned to you across your other calendars. Number five is available to users with a Copilot 365 add-on license. I will be doing a whole other tutorial on using Copilot within Planner, but this is pretty cool. So if we go new plan, then we will see this project manager templates. It's in preview, but it is public preview. So I would recommend checking it out. Let's select this SWOT analysis template and go use template. We will give our plan a name and assign it to a group. And I'm also going to add it to my pin plans so that it will show up on the left navigation for easy access. So we will go and create. So here we are in that project manager view. There are some familiar tabs at the top here, such as grid view, board view, and charts, but we have some new ones like whiteboard and loop as well as goals, which is actually part of premium plans. So this at the top here is our prompt to start to create our plan. I'm going to update this to make it appropriate to our dog boarding facilities. And then now I'm going to ask it to regenerate the tasks. We just need to confirm that this will delete the existing ones. And it's now going to regenerate tasks based on our revised prompt. So now these tasks have been regenerated based on our prompt, and we can see that they are now relevant to the dog boarding industry. Now, if we want to go assign all of these to the project manager, then the project manager is going to start to work through each of these tasks and get them started for us, which is so great. Sometimes you get handed a project or a task that's a part of a project and you just don't know where to even get started. So project manager is going to get started for us. We can see in the status column that we have in progress and the rest of these are queued. So it does take a little bit of time to project manager to work through each of these. But as a project manager works through each of these tasks, you will see the status update to ready. This one is in progress and the others are queued. So if we open this up in board view, then we can see that this is grouped by project manager and we can see that these tasks here are ready. So if we expand a task card, then we can scroll on down and we will see that Project Manager has added a loop page with some information to get us started on this task. When we close out of here, you can access all of those loop pages in a loop workspace in this loop tab here. So Project Manager is a great way to kickstart your projects. Once they're ready, then you can assign the tasks to other team members. New feature number six is how we can reorder our columns in Gridview by simply dragging and dropping them. To be released soon is that we will soon be able to hide columns in order to customize our view and see which information we want to see. This is available in Gridview in both my day as well as in my tasks. Again, we can drag and drop them and reorder them as we see fit. In addition to being able to reorder our columns, we now have a completely new view available in my day and my tasks, which is board view. And this allows us to visualize our tasks. And currently we are grouping these by progress. So as you work through your tasks throughout the day, you can simply drag them and drop them to your new progress locations. 
And when we switch over to my task, we will see that that board view is sticky and we are grouping our tasks by progress. But one time somebody commented on my video asking if there was a way to organize our tasks so they didn't show up as a jumbled mess in grid view and board view is the answer. What you want to do is go to group by and we're going to change this to plan. So just note that I am on all here. So all of my tasks are here and this is super cool because this books is actually a list in Microsoft to do which has synced over as well as our flagged emails. And if we scroll along the bottom here, there is a little bar and you will see all of your tasks group by plans. Now this board view is available in all of these filters as well. So if you just want to view your private tasks, your assigned to me or your flagged emails, then you can do that as well. And here is that new video to check out the new calendar within Microsoft Teams.